What's the crack, lads? We're back, back, back. It's Thursday, and I am back from my holidays a couple of days away with the missus to recharge the batteries. Thank you guys for all the messages, but let's get straight into it. I'm literally in the door, man, right? So we have got a couple of new campaigns. We have the new Lunar New Year, which we saw kick off. That has continued on. We're going to give a roundup of everything that's new, including the return of the player free, player reset, or whatever you call it, and all that good stuff. And also, we're going to take a look at all the players. Then I'm going to have a live stream. And of course, we're also going to be opening and testing out the new players, as well as the new player of the weeks, which we'll have a new video for. But let's get straight into it, man. And the banners kind of tell the main story, right? So in the events here, uh, with the events online, we have the 3v3 and the 2v2, or the one with the co-op, basically here, and the second round of the qualifiers, as well as the English clubs, all ending in three days' time on Monday. And then obviously, we're going to have the Japanese clubs team event that kicks on here. So that is going to give you your skill trainers, and it's also going to give you your coins as normal. So the AI events, we're going to have two Japanese club events. We're going to have this one here, and we're also going to have this one here, which will give you a Worldwide Player of the Week. We also have the English League Clubs Offline event that's going to give you just your skill trainers and stuff like that, right? So that's kind of just rinse and repeat. I don't think we're going to see big, big, big updates, obviously, until the next big season update, right? Which will probably be on around the 7th of the 3rd, which is the date that we have here that the new phase is going to be reset, okay? So moving on from that and just going straight into other stuff, there's nothing really else new in here. Everything is just rinse and repeat. Man, it's good to be back, boys. It's good to be back, man. We're back in the swing of things, right? But we do have on here, we're going to have the free progression points reset campaign. 13 days. So that is going to be when the next big update is, which is two weeks from now, 13 days. So the two Thursdays from now, this is going to be on. So you can reset all your players for free. Every single player is going to be reset for free. I am going to be doing a couple of live streams, which will be retraining cards and retraining players for you guys. Any of these players now you can retrain for free. I've been waiting for this for a while, where we can reset pretty much everyone. Usually it would cost 600,000 for the big players, anything over 96, 97. Now it's going to be for free. So if you want to retrain your squad, one big one I want to retrain is uh, Roberto Carlos, who I had down as a really funky build here. I'm going to be retraining him slightly different, okay? So we'll get through all of that. We'll do all of that in the live stream. We also do have as well on the main banner here, a brand new J-League selection. So we'll get to that in a second right now. And the daily game, I missed a couple of them, but there was nothing I could do. I was out of country, so I couldn't log in. We do have the Worldwide Player of the Weeks. I already did a review on the English League Guardians. Let me know if you guys would like me to spin for those. I don't know about Schmeichel, lads. I mean, Schmeichel, I'm of the mind that every, every time you get a one-on-one, -on -one, a good player is going to score against you more often than not. It doesn't matter if you've got Jersey Dudek in goals or Schmeichel. It doesn't matter if you've got Oliver Kahn, Manuel Neuer, or you've got Karius. It doesn't matter, man, or Onana. It doesn't matter, right? A lot of the time, goalkeepers are kind of the like last line of defense, but there's nothing you can really do. So I don't know what I emptied the bag for Schmeichel, but we'll see. We'll have a look ahead at what's coming next Monday in the side then as well. But the Player of the Weeks, I'm going to do a dedicated video on these for the Player of the Week reviews. Odegaard, Hoyland, Hernandez, Kubo. Uh, you've got Pasalic and Lorente in. This Lorente looks really decent, man. He's playing as a centre forward. Really good speed acceleration. Really, really nice goal poacher play style. Very unique card. This is kind of what I like to look for sometimes. We also have Booster Van Dijk. I'll be honest, lads, right? Van Dijk has been unbelievable for me on my main squad, with this main squad. He's always starting for me. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if I can spin for him. And we also have David and Augusto as well. Hoyland, I thought he'd get the booster, but it's a fairly decent card. I would like to get him as well. So that's something that I'll keep an eye on, right? We also do have the J-League Epics here as well. I don't think this will really interest me too much, but we do have a nice selection. I do like the cards there. And of course, we do have these boys as well. We'll have a look at them. We'll have a bit of a review, obviously, on our live stream. Other than that, it's just the same old, same old, right? We don't have these updated, the Golden Boys, until another 13 days, which these two nominating contracts do signal also with the player free, free player reset that we're going to be getting a big update after these 13 days have passed. So two Thursdays from now is when I think the next big update could come. There's been a couple of variations to that as well, including some of this stuff here that you see from the banner is pretty much just repeat, repeating what we already said, right? So you've got all the legends here. You've got the Japanese clubs. I don't know what they're going to plan with the objectives or the match pass. That needs to be revamped because that is over on the 7th of the 3rd as well. And of course, there's all the new mission objectives with the J-League. That's just rinse and repeat. They need to freshen it up, man. They need to freshen it up. I've been away for a week, but 
you kind of know what you're coming back for all the time. You know what I mean? You kind of know what you're coming back for. So we will kind of complete those as we just play with the Japanese style players or the Japanese teamed players. And then in the shop as well, we do have these now added to the shop. So I didn't see too many people talking about this, but the contract renewal of 60 days is back that you can get one for 5,000 points. I think they're going to make a big change to the contract renewal. And of course, you all have these as well on offer as well. Um, 10 for, you know, 10 of these you can get if you want to. We've got lots of points. You also can get, with the bonus that you have here, you can actually get a new, there's a new campaign I thought I saw. Um, this one here, right? So this is the point site login. You literally just need to sign in and get this. It's very easy to do. And you will get your contract renewals and you'll be able to do that for 5,000 when you get the present here. So it's going to be for free. In terms of the inbox then as well, if you haven't played in a little bit, there is a couple of uh, updates here, but it's mostly just about the new update. It is not V3.4, it's V3.3.1. And of course, they do talk about the update here, which is basically just strips, balls. There's no gameplay tweaks at all with this, from what we're saying. And then they also have these login bonuses as well. But that's pretty much it, lads. There's nothing else really ongoing here um, that you will be missing out on, right? There's no new players to the point shop. There's nothing like that. But again, we do remember this date. Aslani and Jovic are in there. Garrett Barry is now tied into that 13 days as well. So there is going to be a big update in 13 days time or two thirds is from now, which is around the 7th of March, I think is what it's looking like. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you spin? Are you happy with the packs at the moment? Or do you want something more? I'm back. We're going to be live streaming very, very soon tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we will have the player of the week up as well later on tonight. So I will talk to you later, boys. Let me know how the game's been playing for you. Fill me in to date with what's or fill me up to date. Fill me up. Fill me in with up to date how the game is playing for you. I can't even speak, lads. I'm just, I'm still delirious from traveling. But anyway, we will be back very, very soon. I'll talk to you then. Peace.